Could you guess who's been appointed as the new Deputy Inspector General of the Central Bureau of Investigation, CBI? It's none other than Kuldeep Dwayvedi. This announcement has stirred up quite the conversation, and we're keen to see how this new leadership unfolds. Meanwhile, the Indian Renewable Energy Development Agency has entered into an agreement with the Bank of Maharashtra for the financing of projects. A promising step toward boosting renewable energy projects, wouldn't you agree? In other news, India has recently expelled a diplomat from Canada. The reasons behind this action are yet to be fully disclosed, but it's certainly a development to keep an eye on. By the way, did you know that the International Red Panda Day is celebrated every third Saturday of September? This special day aims to raise awareness about the red panda, a species threatened by habitat loss and illegal wildlife trade. Moving on, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has suggested a new name for the old parliament building, the Constitution House, a fitting tribute to the document that serves as the backbone of our democracy. On a cultural note, the Hoyasal Sacred Temple Group in Karnataka has been included in UNESCO's World Heritage Site List. This recognition underscores the rich cultural and historical heritage of our country. In the realm of international relations, Apoorv Chandra unveiled the e-book titled People's G20 on India's G20 Presidency. This digital book aims to shed light on India's role and responsibilities as the G20 President. The Khadi and Village Industries Commission has signed an agreement with Prasar Bharati to promote Khadi products. This initiative aims to boost the rural economy and preserve the traditional craft of Khadi weaving. Lastly, mark your calendars for the second edition of the Indian Navy's Naval Innovation and Indigenization Seminar, slated to take place on the 4th and 5th of October, 2023. This event promises to be a hub of innovative ideas and indigenous technology. To recap, we've covered a range of noteworthy news items today, from new appointments and diplomatic relations to cultural recognitions and initiatives towards sustainable development. Each of these stories contributes to the evolving narrative of our nation and its place in the world. Stay tuned for more updates and, as always, keep the conversation going.